What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here. Welcome to the Paradise C6 YouTube channel. Uh, today we're gonna finish up the stuff on the exhaust side. I still have to weld up the, um, the hot side on this side. Everything else from that side to this up pipe is welded, but this manifold we haven't fully welded yet just because we were ending on getting the fitment right and getting everything where we wanted it to sit. And this is pretty much how it's gonna go for the rest of this build process here. But new stuff came in. We got the uh, heat wrap for the headers, uh, turbo blanket for the turbo so this doesn't melt the hood because as you guys know in the last video, we're gonna have to do a little bit of cut into the hood right where this vent is. So the turbo uh, snail sits like right in this area right here. And we're just gonna have to cut that out and it's gonna have to stick out the hood. I tried my best to get it under the hood. And if I kept moving it around, I could have got it a little bit better, but then the downpipe would have been compromised. And we're trying to get the downpipe and everything to go right down through here and connect to the back of the exhaust going out the back. The, the biggest thing I didn't want was a side exit or uh, an exit through the hood. Uh, not because like the noise wouldn't be too bad, but it would just, spray black soot all over the car and I don't want to be washing this thing like every other day. I'd rather be driving it. So we're going to compromise, cut a little bit out of the hood just so we can fit everything. And as I said before, the wastegate is going to sit right here. I do have to drill out another hole and put a straight piece of pipe coming right up and then the wastegate is going to sit right on top of it just like that. So we have a lot of packaging to do in such a tight area and I did my best to keep as much out of the hood as I can. And uh, once we get all this welded up and get this garage clean, because this is driving me insane walking around all this stuff. So I'm going to break down the boxes, get, some, get a lot of the boxes out of here, get this stuff cleaned up and uh, get everything going. Uh, I'll throw you guys into a time lapse as I clean this stuff up and then we'll get back to uh, welding this thing up. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got everything cleaned up, vacuumed up all the stuff that was on the floor here, and we got the manifold out. So again, I'm probably going to just set you guys up in a time lapse. We're going to weld each seam, and what you're going to do is you're going to see me bounce around uh, from like each um, pipe, doing like a 2 inch, maybe 3 inch line, and then bounce it to another one. The whole reason I'm doing that is just trying to keep the heat out of this and just bounce around all over the place so we don't warp the flange itself because this is extremely thick pipe and when you're welding it, it's gonna pull it all different directions. So by bouncing around, we're gonna dissipate the heat from everywhere and hopefully we don't get any uh, flange warpage. If it does happen, we'll just get the flange planed, but I'm gonna try my best to uh, keep that from happening. So. I got the welder all set up, just gotta turn the gas on and uh, let's get to it. All 
All right, guys, so that turned into a quick fail. We were able to get three, four beads down before I ran out of uh, wire. So we used an entire spool so far, which it's the smaller spool. You guys can see right in there. So I'm going to go uh, probably go to the gym, get another spool of wire, and then come back and start this up again uh, a little bit later just because I have to go all the way out to South Windsor to get it. And my gym's right over there, so I might as well just get that done, get that out of the way, come back. And then we'll get right back to it. I really just want to get this fully welded up, get the hole cut for the wastegate, and then get the wastegate mounted, and then do like a dry fire. So I'm out too. I'm gonna to grab the oil for this and uh, make sure we got everything set up so we can uh, bolt the turbo up and fire this thing up. So check with you guys in. Uh, it's gonna be five seconds for you guys, but it's gonna be like four hours for me. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. It is the next day. Uh, yesterday took me a little bit longer than I expected, so I just figured we'll just start fresh today. I uh, went and got the stainless steel wire that we need. This should be enough to finish everything that we got. Went and got uh, two more quarts of oil because I was low. Um, you're going to see that I have Castrol and two Mobile One. They just didn't have Castrol 530 at the store, so we're going to do a little bit of a mix of Mobile One and Castrol, so it shouldn't really make a difference. But I'm going to get the welder set up. Uh, we'll get this finished up welding. I got I'll throw you back into a time lapse for you guys to see me weld this completely and then uh, we'll get it back into the car. guys so we have this fully welded on uh, I ended up putting it on the flange itself on the uh, motor while it cools down so this way when it cools it'll try to keep it as flat as it possibly can while it's cooling down so we don't get any warpage on the flange itself so that's all done um, I ended up putting in the turbo on I got the inlet flange here for the oil feed I got to make the uh, oil drain which is gonna go straight down pretty much so once I get that up but right now I'm really focusing on getting this mounted up the wastegate and I want it to kind of sit right here and I'm trying to figure out the best height I want it to sit right here and I'm trying to figure out the best height to um, mount this at because I want this to stay under the hood as well and not rub anything so I'm trying to keep it below this um, this nail part right here, because right here doesn't even go come close to the hood. So as long as I keep it down right around there, we should be all right. So I'm, uh, I'm going to get a measuring tape out. I can't do this with both hands. Measure the length and figure out where we need to get the hole and get the thing mounted up. And then once the wastegate's on, we're pretty much ready to fire. And I'm going to fire it with the turbo off just in case there's anything inside there. I don't want it running through the fins or anything like that. Let it idle like that. And then we'll put the turbo on and see what this thing actually sounds like. So... Give me about like 10 minutes. Um, not really gonna film because I've, I've already done this plenty of times, but we're gonna get where that needs to mount and then we'll check back in when the uh, waste gate's mounted up. All right guys, so after a whole bunch of drilling and measuring, we actually have the wastegate pipe all routed and ready to be welded in. Uh, it's gonna face just like this. I made sure when I did this that I fit the turbo blanket to make sure that this fit on there too. And uh, we're just gonna finish up welding this pipe on. And the exhaust side is pretty much done, except for the downpipe. But we'll be far enough along to where we can actually get a cold start with the turbo off and then a start with the turbo on as well. So I'm just going to weld this up, take this off, and I'll time lapse that. And we will get the turbo drain on. And that's pretty much it. And we're done with this uh, hot side and then we'll start worrying about the cold. But let me get this off and uh, we'll get this thing welded up and test this thing out and see what it sounds like. What's up guys, so it's day three now. Uh, hopefully this is the last time that I'm saying this, but let's get a, uh, a start up on this. We have literally everything, so there's no reason I shouldn't be able to do this. Um, I 
one thing that held me up yesterday is I was missing the bolts to lock down the turbo drain. So we have everything for the turbo drain. Uh, we have the bottom part of this made. So I just have to get the manifold on turbo mounted so I can see where the this needs to be cut and then we'll cut this and I'll show you guys how to put, where is it? It's a straight AN fitting. Uh, but let me show you this too. This is the, the manifold. We got the wastegate put on yesterday. So this is all ready to go and put where it needs to be. I have no idea where I did with that straight NA, AN fitting. But I'll find the, the AN fitting. It's, uh, it's just a 10 AN straight for the turbo drain. We'll get that all locked down and get the manifolds on. Um, let me throw you guys into a time lapse while we put everything on and figure out where everything needs to go and uh, get this thing started up finally. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have pretty much everything ready to fire up. I just noticed this must have moved a little bit when I fully welded this uh, because we're the V-bands aren't fitting perfectly well and it's like maybe an eighth inch off for the crossover. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a straight line right in between here, bolt both of these up and then I will put a good weld across the bottom just so this doesn't move at all and then come in at the top and, and move it all in and weld it so it fits, just so everything's ready. But once that's in, we pretty much can, uh, we'll loop the, the feed in return. So this way I'll just shove this into here. So this way the oil will just go right back into there or I could just shove it in there so it feeds there, but then we'll be able to fire. The reason why I don't fire with the turbo off is I wanna clear all the stuff that's inside of here out so at least let it idle rev it up blow all that stuff out make sure there's nothing in there it's gonna get sucked into the turbo and uh then mount up the turbo and get the drain in so let me cut this get this to fit right and then we'll uh check in when it's ready to fire up all right guys so we have everything hooked up the crossover is back in the way it's supposed to be i have all the plugs plugged in let's show you guys the crossover so i did have to cut it and weld it twice and give it a little bit of more angle so it wouldn't hit the bell housing. But other than that, everything's put together. I have the oil feed going right back into the uh, fill here. Um, O2 sensors are hooked up, but the mass airflow sensors hooked up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this thing's ready to fire. Should be loud as hell. So I'm gonna set you guys down and uh, fire this thing up. All right, take two. Had to get the truck to jump start this thing.
All right, guys, so I have the turbo drain hooked up to the bottom of the turbo, and then I have this part taped off. This is where I gotta cut it, and it's gonna go right into the side, just like this, into the oil pan. So let me, uh, let me get something to cut this, and then I'll show you guys how we put this AN fitting on, get that bolted up, and then we're pretty much ready to start this thing with the turbo on it. So super excited to hear what this thing sounds like, so uh, let's get to it. As you guys can see, I beat this piece on till it was flush on the inside. And then all you have to do is just screw this back, uh, this center piece into it, and then it locks the two together. So it's pretty simple. And then we have the full turbo drain. So um, let me uh, get this tightened up. We'll slap this thing in and then see what this uh, turbo sounds like on this car. All right, guys, so I have everything mounted up. I double checked and triple checked everything. I put the dipstick back in. I got the O2 sensors just chilling right here. Wastegates hooked up, turbos mounted, feeds on, drains on, all bolts are tight. I honestly can't think of anything else that uh, needs to be done. So I'm just gonna set you guys down, fire this thing up, and uh, hopefully nothing blows up. Uh, I'm gonna shut the truck off. I don't think I need to have that on anymore. And then uh, we'll hop in this thing and start it up. All right guys, so that's it, it's on. Super excited, everything sounds good. There's no crazy leaks, nothing else is going on with this. Um, I am gonna probably get this up to temperature and let it heat up and just idle here, but I'm gonna do that after I get the downpipe on because I don't want the exhaust just blowing right into here and start melting stuff already. It's already getting warm and it was only on for like two minutes. So um, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna end it there. I still have to do the cold side, I'm waiting for the elbow to come in so we can uh, shoot it forward and get it to where we need to go and I'll probably work on the downpipe and hopefully the fuel pump comes in tomorrow and if that does me and James will do the fuel system on this weekend so I pretty much have everything that I need to to get this thing back on the road it's just time so hopefully by this weekend we'll get uh, the fuel system uh, dropped and get ready to start plumbing that in and then we'll worry about the cold side and that's pretty much it this is gonna be the hardest part is getting this downpipe because we have to fit it right in through there. And then we have to make a Y pipe and put it into the stock exhaust. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. I'm so happy that this thing started and everything's running and working perfectly. Um, like I said, I'm just gonna go over it, check, make sure that nothing's crazy is going on. 
and uh, get this thing going. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. If you got any questions, leave the questions down in the comments below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.